Mr. New York, Mark Simone. On 710 WOR. Well, Ann Coulter, of course, the uh, best-selling author, great columnist, you know, excellent tweeter, Ann Coulter at Twitter. Website is annculter.com. But now, also on Substack, you should go and uh, sign up, become an Ann Coulter subscriber on Substack, and you'll get all kinds of stuff. Uh, Ann Coulter, how you doing? Um, happy Chesa Boudin has been recalled day. <laughs> I, yes. I couldn't be happier. I was trying to put off last night checking. Um you know, the New well, York for those who don't know, oh, Chesa Boudin is is one of these radical nut job DAs who let all the criminals out, and they had a recall vote in uh, San Francisco last night, and even the ultra liberal San Francisco voters threw him the hell out. So, what does this all mean now? Oh, sorry, you're right. I should have gotten given a, a description. I will give a slightly fuller description. Um, he is actually <laughs> I just talked about him on one of my Substack videos, um, and I've written about him um, and particularly his parents. He is. He is the scion of weather underground parents who killed two cops on a Brinks guard. They were involved in a conspiracy with the Black Panthers um, just outside of New York City. It was a hideous, hideous crime. Um, so, of course, you know, he gets into Yale because that's, that's royalty, Mark. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, let me see his, let me see his LSAT. Um, but that is really, that is a desirable characteristic at our Ivy League University. So he is terrorist royalty, beloved, one of the many George Soros DAs destroying cities around America. San Francisco, L.A., um, George Gascon is the George Soros DA in L.A., and um, God willing, he will be recalled later this year. There's a recall petition going around. I think they have another month. Um, there is our guy, Alvin Bragg in New York City, Larry Krasner in Philadelphia, um, Houston, just city after city. It, it is the most evil, destructive thing a person could do. And so, of course, this is what George Soros has done. He's gone around and and replaced the, the prosecuting attorney in all of these cities with attorneys who will not prosecute criminals um, who hate the, unless they'll the prosecute cops, lots of cops. So um, San Francisco, like many other cities, uh, has just become an absolute hellhole. There are plenty of other policies, um, which I, I think I'll be writing about tonight in San Francisco, turning one of the most beautiful cities. I mean, it really is my favorite. Not Nobody cares about what my favorite city is, but if you haven't been there, um, especially if you're a New Yorker, San Francisco is the only city that that could even compare to New York City. Um, not anymore. Now, um, you know, you're waiting. For, there, there are maps of where the human feces are on the street. Drug addicts all over. It's like something out of Night of the Living Dead, except worse. Uh, and stunningly, this most progressive city in <laughs> in the nation, and I would submit the world, um, where, you know, the, the gay pride parade, pride parade is, is, is an annual holiday, um, way bigger than Christmas, um, he's been recalled in a massive, massive vote. It was the first vote to come out last night. Um, they, they, of course, are on um, – Three hours later, if you were if you were trying to check and see what was happening in New York, um, and I was hoping this would happen, as many were, but you never know what's going to happen, especially with that liberal of an electorate. Um, and that was the first result to come in, and they're still counting. I think it's like 85% now, but it's a good 60% voted to recall him. So um, I hope this is the beginning of a trend. Uh, yeah, let's, so you, let's, let's do Gascon and Alvin Bragg, or actually we just need to elect Lee Zeldin governor in New York to get rid of Bragg. Uh, yeah, or Rob Estorino or Andrew Giuliani. Every Republican has said they'll throw Bragg out the first day. What um, This George Soros, in case anybody doesn't know, he went around funding these DA races, and it doesn't take much to win a DA race, so he put millions and millions and millions in to get these 26 lunatics in, Shouldn't somebody haul him in front of Congress and put him under oath and say, what the hell was your point in doing this? And why, why were you funding DA races in places you don't even live? Shouldn't he be made to answer all this? That's a good question. Um, 
I mean, I prefer a, an immediate death penalty. <laughs> well. That's a joke. Uh, I don't really think they can do that. I mean, a private citizen donating, it is it is pure evil. Um, he only recently became a citizen a, a few years ago. I was, I was not jokingly thinking, why can't we deport this guy? Um, I believe he remains. He was um, convicted in absentia of a felony in France. Um, but he did, I, I, as I understand it, a few years ago become become a U.S. citizen. Um, yeah, but he is somebody who should be who should be looked at with his finances um, because of because of funny business in the past, not because of his politics. Um, but I don't think you can call somebody in just because this is what they do. I think Republicans ought to learn from them. Yeah. Um, billionaires could learn from them. It doesn't take. It doesn't, they don't need to be billionaires. It doesn't take that much money. Um, because these are races that that don't have huge. It's usually just you know whomever, whomever the the top prosecutor is and row recommended by a superior. They're really small affairs. Maybe if any money is spent at all, ten thousand dollars or something. So you throw two hundred thousand dollars at a DA's race. Um, I wish. Re- not even Republicans, but people who believe in civilization were this smart. It doesn't take that much money. Um, this is why it's very frustrating to see so much money being wasted um, by wealthy Republican donors when there are smart things they could be doing with their money. Look at what this evil man did. Look at the lives and neighborhoods um, the women attacked, the fear, the old people, and women who can't walk on the street, neighborhoods destroyed, no more shopping. Walmart, or uh, Walgreens rather, excuse me, pulled, pulled out 17 stores from San Francisco because the criminals just walk in. They're not going to get prosecuted. In fact, they taunt, they taunt the police. You're not, you're not going to arrest me and nobody's going to prosecute me. They just go yeah. in with their sh- with their with their shopping bags, and this is happening. I mean, similar things are happening in New York and and in Los Angeles. I, the the mindset of the evil behind someone who would want this. Hey, so these Democrats will hold hearings, change laws, all about these school mass shootings, but ninety nine point eight percent of the gun violence in uh, this country is not those things. It's the crime on the streets, uh, and why don't they? Why won't they do anything about that? You want to pass laws? Pass laws that the DAs have to put the criminals in jail. Stop all these shootings yes. all over our streets. Yes, it's 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 striking that that all of these um, progressive DAs and the progressive governor of California um, will, <laughs> you know, in, that they want to take guns away from people who never have committed a crime with a gun and people who never will commit a crime with a gun. But when they have an actual convicted felon who has provably, (laughs) in a court of law, committed a crime with a gun. Um, Gavin Newsom commuted about a dozen sentences when he first became, he's the governor of California, when he first became governor of California, um, specifically citing the enhancement for a felony committed with a gun and saying, no, this is the extra five years or whatever it is. No, I think that's too much. So, yeah, I, I mean, I think the the objective is clear. They want to disarm the law abiding. Um, this week so far has been my, my gun week on, on my sub stack, um, and I sent out a number of articles on studies and facts and what the evidence shows and all of the gun laws, uh, and it's all listed on my sub stack right now, ancoulter.substack.com, but all these gun laws the left proposes um, – <laughs> they they have have never been shown to work. They have in fact gotten people killed, including the red famous red flag logs. About thirty percent of people who have their guns taken away from red flag logs laws um, are are completely innocent. You can just get you know a bitter ex girlfriend going in and saying, oh, this is dangerous. Or more dangerous, how about a bitter ex boyfriend? How about an, a bitter ex boyfriend who's stalking you? There was a yeah. gal in a famous case and. Pennsylvania applied for a gun permit because she had a dangerous ex-boyfriend, had a restraining order against him, and she was still waiting for the permit to come through when he stabbed her to death in her driveway. No, those gun laws get people killed. Um, The one law that has been shown to work manifestly is concealed carry. 
Yeah. Um, so we're out of time, but uh, you could, obviously you can follow Ann Coulter on Twitter. You can get her books. You can go to her website, annculter.com. And uh, what do they do on Substack? Where do they go? Um, well, if you sign up, my Substacks will be delivered directly to your inbox, but it's annculter.substack.com. And you can see everything I've posted. First month is free. Go now. Ancoulter.substack.com is a very hot website, and everything will come right to you, all the columns, all the uh, video, everything. Uh, Ancoulter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. All right, take care. Uh, oh, and everybody check out the webpage. Now, they're going to do these very fake theatrical hearings tomorrow night about January 6th. They're going to claim the things that Donald Trump said led to the violence. I want you to watch this video. This is a montage of every Democratic leader saying things far worse that incited violence, incited riots. All these Democrats you're going to see tomorrow night said much worse stuff. Take a look at the video. It's up on the web page. Uh, also, up, you know, the Stanley Cup, they take this around. They give it to everybody to hold on to. What if it gets lost? What if it gets stolen? What if it gets damaged? Here's what would the secret plan and how to deal with that. It's all up on the web page. Go to 710wor.com slash mark. 710wor.com slash mark.